He was an educated man who left his 9 to 5 job and went full time in the music industry as a songwriter and recording artist. Went by the stage name Eddie Fitzroy, he had stamped his mark in the history of Jamaican music as a respectable artist who performed only conscious lyrics for both the young and the old. In this video, I look at the career of Eddie Fitzroy and take you on a tour to his grave in the parish of St. Catherine. I am Nigel D. Summer. Welcome to Jamaican Chapter. Fitzroy Edwards was born on Thursday, November 17, 1955, in the community of Chapleton in the parish of Clarendon, Jamaica. Name of his mother is Kathleen Robinson and his father, Vasco Edwards. Eddie Fitzroy, as he would later be widely known as, properly attended school with his favorite subject being mathematics. After leaving school in Chapleton, he went to Kingston where his mother had relocated just a few years earlier. In Kingston, he studied accounting at West Indies Commercial Institute. After his graduation from the institute, the 18 years old Eddie Fitzroy got employed to Jamaica Broadcasting Corporation JBC in 1973 working as an accountant officer and even later as a radio show host. He remained employed to JBC for 22 years. While working as an accountant, Eddie Fitzroy became a father and a recording artist. Regarding fatherhood, he had six children, five daughters, and a son. His involvement in the music industry as a recording artist started in the year 1978 with his first record called Miss Molly Coley. The song became a hit on the Jamaican Top 10 charts, bringing the name and voice of Eddie Fitzroy to many people. He went on to record many more songs and doing performances both in Jamaica and overseas. In 1982, his debut album Youth Man Penitentiary was released. The Roots Reggae album consists of 10 songs and was released in the United States of America by Alligator Records. That same year, 1982, Eddie Fitzroy's second album was released titled Check For You Once, released in Jamaica by Eddie Fitzroy's own label called Confidence. This Roots Reggae album, consisting of 10 songs, was number one for a month on Jamaican Hit Parade and the best-selling album coming out of Jamaica at the time. Eddie Fitzroy kept recording and the albums kept coming, such as Coming Up Strong, 1984, Eclipse, 1988, Deep in Me Culture, 1993, Pollution, 1994, We Are Lion, the year 2000, and more. In the year 1995, Eddie Fitzroy quit his job as an accountant and went into music full time. It was a tough decision but proved to be the right decision that gave him global recognition that a job at a desk could not give. Eddie Fitzroy was then able to do more recordings and performances. 
He had also collaborated with several artists and even performed for free at charity events. Though Eddie Fitzroy recorded numerous songs, his 1983 song Princess Black stood out the most. Princess Black was written by Eddie Fitzroy himself as a tribute to his mother and was included in his 1984 album Coming Up Strong. Eddie Fitzroy followed in his father's footsteps by becoming a Rastafarian, though he expressed in an interview that he was born a Rasta. But it appears he never began growing his locks until after he left his accounting job and began pursuing music full time. Eddie Fitzroy managed to stay out of controversies and maintained a clean reputation both in his personal life and music career. His peaceful, people-friendly and conscious approach to life paid off. In 1982, he received the Press Association of Jamaica Award in recognition of his contribution to the development of Jamaican reggae music. The same year, 1982, he received the award for the JBC Personality of the Year. In 1984, he received the Rockers Award for the Most Conscious Performer. He won the Rockers Video Award for his song Princess Black in 1985. In 1988, 1989 and 1990, he received the award for Most Cultured Oriented Artist at the Annual International Music Awards. Eddie Fitzroy also received recognition from women groups due to his conscious lyrics and contributions. In 1990, he received the Sisters Celebration Award for his contribution to their concerts since 1985. And in 1996, he received the Woman to Woman Award from Sistrin Inc. in recognition of his contribution to their causes. In the year 2003, eight years after he went full-time into the music industry, things were getting better and better for Eddie Fitzroy when tragedy struck in his personal life. On June 20, 2003, Eddie Fitzroy's son, 16 years old Rory Edwards, went to a river with his friends. Out in the water, he got into difficulty and drowned. Eddie Fitzroy was devastated by the news of his son's death and fell in a long period of grief. Rory Edwards was a final year student at Calabar High School and was very bright with the same passion for mathematics as his father. He was Eddie Fitzroy's only son. Eddie Fitzroy eventually found solace in his music. He went on to record more albums and did lots of live performances locally and overseas. Throughout his music career, he remained loyal to the performance of positive uplifting lyrics, never changing for money nor fame. In March 2017, the 61 years old singer fell ill and was admitted to the Maypen Hospital in Clarendon. He died at the hospital on Saturday, March 4, 2017. The funeral for the singer was held at Tent City Seventh-day Adventist Church in Portmore, St. Catherine. A lot of individuals turned out for the funeral, including artists and former JBC co-workers.
I am at Dovecot Memorial Park here in St. Catherine. It's very breezy here, it's very nice here, very quiet, a nice place. And I'm gonna be showing you the grave of one of my favorite artists. I've already said that. One of my favorite artists, Eddie Fitzroy. Uh, my favorite song of him is Princess Black. She's a precious, 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 come on. Princess Black. She always, 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 yeah, yeah. She tougher than a rock. He was an educated guy working for a radio station here in Jamaica. Eddie Fitzroy. And after his death, he was laid to rest here at Dovecot Memorial Park here in St. Catherine. There are a lot of famous people who are buried here. A lot of famous people who are buried here. And I'm just going to walk to his grave now the grave of the man Eddie Fitzroy and now we're approaching and this is the final resting place of the man himself Eddie Fitzroy. That's him, man. Eddie Fitzroy, and it says, In loving memory of Fitzroy Edwards, Eddie Fitzroy, entertainer, extraordinaire, a first class citizen. November 17, 1955 to March 4, 2017. Yeah, man, this is the resting place of Eddie Fitzroy. Princess Black. I love that performance. I wish I could play that song to you, but you know how YouTube, YouTube is. You could end up get a copyright strike. Right, so that's the grave of Eddie Fitzroy. We all know him. We all know him by his stage name, Eddie Fitzroy. Okay, so from from the grounds of Dovecot Memorial Park, thanks for watching, and remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more interesting videos like this.